Hi guys, Linda here. And um, I woke up this morning and um, I've been kind of busy this week and I have company and lots of little babies around. That's kind of nice. But um, I saw that Zimmerman was found innocent. Um, and we weren't in the jury room, so we don't know what's happened. But I saw that Al Sharpton called for protest across 100 cities. Now, I hope everybody knows how he's paid for and he's always tried to cause discontent wherever he could. Although he says he's a human rights adv advocate, he's never not once took up a human right cause. He's only called for demonstrations and protest. He has really never helped a com community. You can go look. Him nor Reverend uh, Jesse Jackson. Actually, Martin Luther King tried to distance himself from Reverend Jesse Jackson, and that's documented, so you may want to look that up. So I'm wondering, why Why is anybody listening to him knowing what he is? I would call him a paid shill. When I was at a festival yesterday, and there was every color there, and everybody got along pretty much in harmony. Um, everybody got along, and there was young people and old people of every color, including African-American, um, and nobody was hating on each other. So this is contrived by the government to start this, and this is what I have to say. The treasonous thing, the worst thing, the only person that should be found guilty is the government. The government has created all this tension and divide because there are killings every single day in every city, and it might be white on black, black on white, Hispanic on black, uh, black on Hispanic, um, white on Hispanic. You just can mix the whole thing up. Um, and, and let's say 80% of the times this is done by the police. I would think that people would all be standing up outraged over that. And our government, what our government has done. They've killed thousands and millions of people across other countries, and nobody's raising their fist in rage over that. Are we blind to the rest of humanity? I mean, one child, which I don't know what happened. I am sorry that he is dead, and I have actually prayed for him. But, but this happens everywhere all over North America. But what's worse is it's in our name happening everywhere across the globe. And that's where I think people need to have their fist up in the air and forget all the paid chills who try to divide and conquer. And I name Al Sharpton number one on my list, along with Reverend Jesse Jackson when it comes to race issues of African Americans. Because I saw what, saw what Reverend Jesse Jackson did in Memphis with my own two eyes. He wasn't there to even help the black community. That was, that was, I've seen him there in the 70s, and he wasn't there to help the African-American community at all. He wanted donations. He, he said a few words, got a lot of donations, and he was gone. One of my friends was an African-American, and he got shot on the city council in Memphis. Um, and uh, where was Rev Reverend Jesse Jackson then? Nowhere, because this guy wanted unity. So, see, when it comes to the, the, the getting humanity together, they're nowhere around. They're not for civil rights of anybody. Um, so, unless you've witnessed this with your own eyes, maybe you don't understand what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's time, if we want to get mad, get mad at the system. Get mad at the people in D.C. Get mad at those who want us to hate one another. And I want us to love one another. And I say, don't let it happen. I say, turn your back on Al Sharpton. And if you have anger built up in your heart and you want to take it out on somebody, get to D.C. And, and march on D.C. And I know everybody loves their culture. I love my culture. But, but you know what? There's still, we're all humans. And, and there's, a, there's a human side to this. We weren't in the deliberation room. We don't know all the stuff that was let out. They never let, no court records. You'd have to get a Freedom of Information Act to find out everything that went on in that trial. So we don't know why he was found guilty. And so, I mean innocent, excuse me, innocent. So before you start asking the Justice Department to come in and make it a federal issue, Maybe we ought to start looking at the people who are calling for that. Those are the ones that don't want us to unite.
They want to divide us any way they can, so let's not give them any attention. I say turn your back on them. I say African Americans, turn your back on them. Unite. We need to unite as a human species against the empire. The empire that seems to control us. And I would turn the damn TV off. Nobody should watch court TV or follow any trial. And if that's what the news is preaching, because I don't have the TV, we don't own a TV, then I say, if you've got a gun, take the TV out and shoot it. Because that's not what's happening in the world. There's a lot more happening in the world. There's a lot of people dying all over the world because of our empire system. So if you want to take to the streets and protest, you better go against the empire to support all of us. And then we figure a way out to get us all together and united. And I love you all. Peace, love, and truth. Linda's out.